um, my colleague, the Deputy Ambassador, <coughs> and Madam, um, my colleague here, the Member of Parliament uh, from Georgia, who has just been introduced, but he's also the Chief of Staff for the Foreign, um, Foreign Relations Committee in Parliament. Uh, by the way, the embassy in Berlin is responsible for 23 missions. So Berlin or Germany is just one of them, but then Georgia is also one of those 23 countries. So welcome to us. The chairperson and Rachel, Umozwa Malawi, all fellow Malawians <coughs> present here, Malawians by citizenship, Malawians by associations, Malawians uh, by marriage. You are a Malawian by association. <laughs> so I also welcome uh, students from the ICD, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your presence here. And um, as already mentioned, our gathering here is an initiative of Malawians living in Germany, a grouping that meets almost every year at different venues, as just shared, um, to celebrate our National Day, but also to celebrate other initiatives and gatherings. Last year, as mentioned, I think it was in Stuttgart. This year, it's in Berlin. And I understand uh, next year, it will be in Cologne. But before I proceed, I would like to share with you some sad news we just got. One of our sisters, and that's Angela Chipungu, has lost her husband, Dr. Heiko Meinhardt. And I'm sure that uh, most of us know these two. So Heiko Meinhardt passed on two days ago. He had liver cancer. It was diagnosed only two weeks ago. Treatment was started immediately, but it was already too late. I spoke with Angela, who is now with Amre. They are six years old. She sounded strong and doing their best. But from our discussions, I could notice that they have not yet realized what it means. So we'll be told when the burial is, because they have to go through other processes. And once we know the day of the burial, uh, some of us close to Hamburg will attend, but definitely the embassy will send a delegation to the burial. Ms. The Dr. Meinhard was a prominent member of our Malawian community. He also once served as our honorary consul in Hamburg. And most of us know that uh, he wrote several articles on Malawi, and as well as co-authoring many books, including one which was famous, which was titled Malawi's Processes of Democratic Transition. So we will miss him, but now, May I request all of us to stand so that we observe a minute of silence remembering Dr. Thank you. And so now back to the business of today. We are celebrating 59th year of uh, independence in Malawi. But maybe as we, we are celebrating, it's good also to take a stock of what that means. So what does this mean for Malawians? The good thing is, is that today I'm speaking before you as um, Umozwa Malawi. There are times when you celebrate this uh, function officially as a nation, so that's when we have these national anthems. We have uh, the delegates from the hosting country and ourselves. But today we are here as a family, so it's, it's, it's possible that we 
we discuss this to say what does this mean to me as a Malawian that we are 59 years independent? What does it mean for a rich man in our country? What does this mean for a poor man in our country? And what does this 59 years mean to us as we face the future of our country? These are some of the questions we tend to take for granted. And as we go on, unfortunately, we start putting the blame either on the past or the blame on others. And two days ago, I, think I was invited here, and so I had a key address to an audience. And uh, one of the things I mentioned is that one thing I find funny is people who meet, whether they're ambassadors from Sadiq, ambassadors from Africa, ambassadors from different countries, and talk of the potential that Malawi has. Malawi has a potential. And I'm pretty sure that some of us have been saying this. But I'm fed up to be hearing that Malawi has a potential. And I said it that this was already known some years ago when countries gathered here in Berlin and partitioned Africa. They did that because they knew that there's potential in Africa and therefore potential in Malawi. Today, you and me should be talking of the immense opportunities that our countries, country has. And who is to unlock those opportunities? So we are part of those people who are supposed to do this. But um, in most cases, we look at the leadership. Um, there are people of bad will in our country, including we ourselves, the citizens. And you and me know quite well that we have people who are selfishly, self, with selfish mind milking the country and its resources. And we know that we have also some Malawians who have the goodwill to do something for our country. And so just instead of just looking at the leadership, just looking at the other Malawians, we have to ask ourselves, what is it that I can do to change our country? I know that we are going through a rough time. And some of us know who are responsible for those rough times. But as I said, we have to take our role instead of just pointing fingers. On the other hand, we have some citizens, including politicians, including uh, civil servants, and most of us citizens who have sometimes an exaggerated sense of expectation, expectation from others. But now, shortly now, we just have to look at what's our role, our role as people in diaspora. I think we have to do our best Yes, we can make noise, we can make contributions, you can send money, we can do investments, but uh, I think what's important for us today is we have to support all institutions that are spearhe spearheading the rule of law in our country. Because it's only this that can push out all the corruption that we have. You and me know that um, that was also discussed two days ago. Unfortunately, it's those people who have money that manage to campaign and finally get positions elected to the positions they are now. And sometimes we have some people who have no money, so they'll borrow, borrow, and borrow, do the campaign. Once they're elected, they'll make sure that they pay back whatever they borrowed. So focus is not there for the whole country, for the country. Now, we, instead of just criticizing, let's discuss things that need to be discussed for our country as citizens in, in, uh, now currently in Germany. We have to market our country. And the other thing is that we have to be positive. Let us be positive. I often say in our offices that, yes, we have to be very ambitious. But at the same time, we have to be realistic. 
ndifo vutika. Don't exaggerate it, Zina. We just have to, be, to do the best we can. I know that the expectations we have, comma, the reality is not what sometimes we have. So to my fellow Malawians living in Germany at the moment, let us together come as a family, Umozwa Malawi. And this is also my, the uh, staff members in the office who agree with me that I have always stressed on the word family. We are one family. We have to work as a family. And of course, in a family, there are those disturbances, there are those misunderstandings, but those misunderstandings should not break us. We should remain one. I know that sometimes Malawians are not satisfied. They have a negative um, concept of the embassy. They have their own expectations. But don't forget, we are one family. And it is only through discussions, through sharing, that we'll get to know what the truth is. Mm, the office of the deputy ambassador is fully dedicated on the issues of diaspora. And uh, before I conclude, we have discovered in our office that there are some Malawians based in Malawi who are issuing fake visas to Malawians. And these Malawians have managed to come into Europe, but most of them have ended up being caught and sent back. There are others who even, when the police get in touch with the embassy, who even refuse to speak with us. And we're trying to find out why. So they think that the moment they speak with the embassy, then that will mean getting back home. There are those who are, last week there were two ladies who were intercepted in, um, in Frankfurt. The idea, the, 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 why I'm saying this is, when we discuss with them, when we know the situation, it is a miserable situation. So, for those of us who are here, let's tell our fellow citizens the truth, that life is not just as easy as they may think here in Europe. If they want to come, let them come and be ready to work. It's not just because we're in Europe that everything will come like manna, no. Tell them, be honest with them, tell them the truth, and manage, that they manage their expectations. And this is a message I wanted to know, because I heard that in South Africa, um, most of the people who are tracking down to South Africa are not told the truth. They think that everything is so nice, and when they, they land there, they, they are disappointed. But you and me are aware of what I'm saying. It's not easy. One has to work, and this is the speed we have to put in them. Now, according to the timetable, we're told that next, next year, this celebration will be in Cologne. I just said, wanted to share with you that next year, it will be 60 years of our independence, but at the same time, 60 years of our relationship with Germany. So there will be these two functions. One will be celebrated on Friday, the 6th of July, 2024. And the second one, probably uh, on Saturday, the 7th of July, 2024, in Cologne. We'll try to manage that. And the second point on these uh, celebrations, we have been reminded, the, the embassy has been reminded that we tend to focus only on Germany, as if we are just representing Germany. So Malawians in Turkey, Malawians in Poland, probably Malawians in Georgia, are asking us that why don't we join them? So in the coming uh, years, some representatives from the embassy will join those diaspora groups to celebrate the, our national day. So this is what will be happening. Uh, it was, when I go for national days, one thing I don't like is to sit down listening to speeches. So I think this one has to, my speech has to stop now. People have to go and eat. But before I sit down, I want to thank the director of this place for welcoming us and uh, to allow us to use the, our premises. Thank you all the committee that arranged this day. And thank you everybody. Enjoy the day. This is going to be.